Army Badger Army and welcome to today's Beano review. I hope you're all right guys. Today's issue is 4096 and this comic has been going way 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 before even I was a child so it's insane that it's up to its 4000th issue. So if you guys are watching at Beano HQ thank you very much for delivering this awesome comic for all these years for many generations. I think it's fantastic. This week is Welcome to Camp Grizzly. <laughs> you know, and I've been looking forward to this one to see how this goes and I'm hoping it's an ongoing storyline for the summer and not just a one shot. Okay, so we've got, will the kids make it through the summer? Yeah, good luck with that. Dennis is like, mm, hard pass. Brilliant. Uh, want a pizza, the numbskulls. Can you work it out for Minnie? And it's raining laughs for Dangerous Dan. So it's gonna be interesting. Right, let's have a look see. As ever, this week we got the Beano Boss and uh, they're up to in mischief at the picnic with all the pranks. You can't be it, can you? It's really great. And of course, if you wanna be a Beano Boss, I do recommend it, because that would be so much fun. And you get to see all the stuff first. I think it's a really good idea on the Beano uh, HQ's appointment. Right, Roger the Dodger this week is hilarious. Roger the Dodger trying to do your cheeky scallywag and get out of helping Dad in the garden. I think it's brilliant. Oh, I have to go to school in like a million weeks. Well, it's not really, it's about six, isn't it? But yeah, it's brilliant. Summer holidays are less than that, a million weeks at the editor. I can finally enjoy the rest of and with all that hard work I've put into the last term. And you can see Roger's face there is just like, no. <laughs> oh dear. And it's just hilarious how he just wants to rest up in the garden and chill out. And that Dad is being taken over. Look at that. The blockweed has taken over the garden. Roger, this is Fendorian blockweed. No one de-stresses around Fendorian blockweed. <laughs> You've heard of Fendovia, yeah? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't remember this, but it must be an ongoing joke in the comic over the years. But I don't really remember about the blockweed. If you guys do, let me know. But yeah, look at that. <laughs> He's like, oh no, there's no blockweed. And then he ends up attacking it with a Santa come here sign. I think it's hilarious. Six months old till Christmas, guys. And, um, you know, and then he ends up in a fantasy land with a princess and ends up trying to have a nap. And uh, it's hilarious because the dad and the princess end up waking up Roger from his sleep. I think it's hilarious. Yeah, that is a hilarious one this week. Um, you got the, uh, the usual pranks with the Ha Ha Joke Shop. Uh, no Tricky Dicky this week, I've noticed so far, but he was in the previous week. But yeah, there's all these different jokes about donuts and things like that. So that's worth a read about how to make everyone think you can grow a donut tree. <laughs> you know, and of course this one was fun. The prank this week is really cool because it's all about uh, switching people's socks around. So I'll be doing that to Badger Junior at some point. And that'll be hilarious. Don't tell him. <laughs> right. Also, now, Dennis and Nasha this week is fantastic. It really is. And obviously there's an ongoing theme about how, you know, the internet, YouTube, Netflix, and all those sorts of things stops people leaving the house and going out. And this week, we'll see what happens. Now, Dennis is really fed up. He's gone out, but no one's about. They're all at home watching TV. And it's one of these things where it's like, no one's here either. No one's about at all. So that means the nature has come back. So guess who's back? The three bears. Look at those guys. I haven't seen those in a Beano comic since forever. So I'm hoping we get to see them come back at some point because look, what they do is they crash the whole internet. They eat the internet box. And that reminds me of jokes from like South Park and stuff like that, uh, where it's just one, one big box for the internet. And then if that breaks, you're stuffed. <laughs> but yeah, 
that was there and it's just a massive internet box and and the three bears have ruined it <laughs> by eating it and I think they don't know what to do with themselves it's really funny how they sort of end up getting on with all this stuff and those poor souls what are they going to do without the internet <laughs> and Dennis is happy because everyone's out to play <laughs> fantastic right here we go so that was one of my favourites this week, Dennis and Nasha Unleashed. Uh, yeah, and once again, it wasn't poor old Dennis's fault, was it? Uh, there's the usual loot competitions there, well worth a go. Calamity James only gets a two uh, half a strip this week, but it's very funny about him winning 50 pounds and then having to pay it back through planning permission on the sand. Poor soul. Uh, Nasha and Nipper, uh, are up to mischief, fighting over who should have the photo of Dad, the original Dennis. <laughs> oh dear. Those dogs making such a racket. Yeah, they're fighting over a toy, you see dogs. Oh, they're fighting over a picture of me. <laughs> I don't want it either. Oh dear. Just picturing what I would like to have a nice dogs. Oh, poor Nasher and Nipper. Poor Dennis's dad. <laughs> oh dear. And of course we've got a nice little colouring page there, which is always cool. I might be doing that with Badger Junior later actually, that's fun. And uh, this week's Betty and the Yeti was really cool, look at that. Uh, lots of vivid colours there. And uh, look at that, he's up to mischief in the hole there, it's really good. And look, they're playing crazy golf. <laughs> oh dear. Something called Crazy Golf Yeti, Grunt Icky Cream. No Yeti. We don't eat it, we have the ball and through the little hole in it. So yeah, they're playing Crazy Golf and then uh, Yeti is eating all the golf balls and stuff like that. Oh dear. And we got a joke here, why can't Cinderella play football? She's always running away with the ball. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, terrible. Yeah. Right, Dangerous Dan. Uh, this one was quite funny, actually. And it's a bit of a meta joke, which is what I love about these things. Uh, you know, they've stolen all the copies of Beano this week. You know, they've started to become a bit more self-aware with that gag, and I love it. Um, adds a bit of a met meta joke in there. And it, you know, will help the conspiracy theories. <laughs> but yeah, I've done it. I've pinched every Beano in Beano Town. Hey, give them back. Yeah, so he's got all the Beanos in Beano Town and uh, Dangerous Dan has to rescue it back. And I think that's hilarious the way they do it, yeah. Uh, Cloudy with a chance of jokes. You've got some fun jokes there. That's really cool. Oh dear. Like, what do you call a danger, what do you call dangerous weather? A reign of terror. Mmm, gosh. <laughs> oh no. And the Bass Street Kids. Now, this is obviously the signature story of this week, where they're off on holiday. They've been supposedly sent to Disneyland, but no, they're off to some bad camp. <laughs> oh dear. We're all going on a summer holiday. No more school for a month or two. Fun and laughter on a summer holiday. No more learning for me or you. Cliff Richard, everyone. <laughs> Oh dear. And they go, Camp Grizzly, this isn't Disneyland. <laughs> oh dear. And I love it how they're trying to sort of work out what's going on. Pranked by our parents, I'm almost impressed. I can't believe we fell for it again. So they've obviously been there before. <laughs> oh dear. I'm the Grizzly Griller. You'll probably see me on TV's Grizzly Grilling Grapes Grizzlies or Grizzly Grillers Grizzly Grillings. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's sort of taking the mickey out of Bear Grizzles or whatever his name is. <laughs> but yeah, they've been given tent packs and ah uh, yes, and they've been having to do that. So one of them has put the tent upside down, which I think is hilarious. And uh, and then they get their own back with the tent uh, with the uh, instructor and hiding him in the tent. I'm hoping to see more next week. But yeah, that was a fun strip and uh, could have been a bit longer actually, seeing as though it was the cover, but it was still quite fun and I'm hoping it sets up for more jokes. 
Um, Angel Face Investigates is always fun. Um, I love the art style where they're chasing after all the different bits and pieces. And of course, you got Pie Face playing football, which I think is always fun. But your Angel Face is always worth a quick read. The cat chasing the mouse, or hoping for better. <laughs> what did you just scribble over a page and get us to make up a story for you? Oh, uh, rumbled. <laughs> oh, dear. But yeah, there you go. And of course, Num Skulls is all about naughty, naughty overeating. They're scoffing loads of food and, uh, and he's really full and uh, he's a shadow of his former self. Uh, Ed's so hungry he's almost a skeleton. He's just scoffing all the food. Look at that. Yes, he's a secret lemonade drinker. But yeah, look at all that. He's eating tons of food there. And a moment later, he's all the pizza. Ah! And that, of course, leads into this massive word search about naughty junk food. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> it even said a pasta pot. Indeed, pasta pot, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Ruby's uh, Screw Top Science is always fun where now they're trying to get something. Apparently the mayor is advertising about uh, Banana Festival, obviously in the conjunction with Banana Man. And uh, they've actually had to build a robot to do the announcement and it's gone haywire saying stuff like, uh, how I love your stench, your big red head is a, like a rancid tomato, let's put cheese on the beach at sunset. Your monkey face really is disgusting. You need to go away from me. Oh, God. So the algorithm is totally broken there. <laughs> oh, dear. We've got a nice little advert for the Boomic and the new website feature there, which is worth a look. Ah, and of course, this week's... I really like this week's one, actually. This one's really funny. Banana Man is well in force here with... Uh, <laughs> the banana festival and eating exploding bananas and all sorts of stuff and uh, I think it's the Gran and General Blight team up to defeat him at the banana show <laughs> it's really funny so I can't believe it's here already most exciting day of the year annual Beano Town banana fair <laughs> even more bananas guess what more bananas Look, General Blight, Banana Man's at the Banana Fair. Of course Banana Man's here. Why do you think he came? Why do you think we came? So yeah, definitely worth it. And uh, de free bananas, definitely not a trap. Oh, dear. That, yeah. that is, it is a trap. It is a trap, yeah. That's a silly trap. That was really funny there, the exploding bananas. So it's literally blown Banana Man's head off there. He's been electrocuted. <laughs> Poor old Banana Man, and compelled and all sorts of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was he? Yeah. Well, he fell for all the naughty jokes, didn't he? Right, here we go. <laughs> and you got this week's one where it's uh, Be More Beano as well with Roger. And let's have a look next one. Right, here we go. You got one of my favourite stories this week as well with Minnie the Minx <laughs> selling ice cream, which is really fun. And uh, you've got uh, Minnie the Minx, she's tougher than all the boys, and Minnie is going around selling knockoff ice cream with bad flakes and uh, with carrot flakes and all sorts of stuff like that. Why is there a carrot in my, well, <laughs> my ice cream with obviously, you know, with paper cones and everything? <laughs> of course, it mentions about the flake shortage and everything. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's really funny. So she's up to mischief, grabbing extra pocket money and trying to defeat Cruncher, which I think is great. Her nemesis. Kerrang! <laughs> yeah, so she defeats Cruncher and he's after her. I think that's great. <laughs> and I think that follows on next week where they're having a, a race off. Oh dear. Can you work it out? That was fun. Uh, so you got to work out the different flavours of ice cream. <laughs> you got a couple right, didn't you, bud? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's worth a look. And then you got Billy Whiz uh, after some yummy takeaway. Look at that. So he's after some lovely takeaway there. And he goes to all the different places in the world for the takeaway. I think that's great. And of course, you got next week, 
pedal to the metal and the mini braves a cycle across cruncher lands eat my dust so that's obviously carrying on from last week and uh, well, i should say this week so obviously she's got a mower as well there so goodness knows what she's going to get up to but that's obviously carrying on from this week and uh, having cruncher get it, trying to get his own back on her but yeah this was a great little one you got arty as well at the back which is like the bonus strip which is up to Mischief Arty Artois, which was always good. That's quite a fun little one to read up on. And uh, do check that as well. I do like the bonus strips there as well. But yeah, my favorite ones this week are definitely Minnie the Minx, um, definitely Banana Man and Bash Street Kids. They were fun. And of course, Dangerous Dan. And of course, you know, you can't beat Roger the Dodgy. In fact, there was a load of really good strips this week. And of course, Dennis the Maze was on uh, electric fire this week so there was lots of cool stuff in here this week really enjoyed this week's issue so props to the guys who uh, made this week's Beano it was really good thank you very much and uh, it was a really fun read thank you very much for watching guys let me know if you enjoyed this week's Beano in the comments and I'll see you soon thanks very much for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe if you're new and have a good day see you all later bye